Okay, it's uh, Friday. Shit, I've got the wrong license plate up. <laughs> Bugger. Uh, let's see what the vehicle. We've had a bit of an update for. Bam. No, the bus hasn't arrived yet. Probably going to come in at uh, 1.45. However, we are on the ProMod server, if anyone wants to pick up the stream. Hello, Alex. <laughs> Your insight is just fucking a bit like my fucking head at the moment. Right, although we are supposed to be getting buses sooner or later. Oh, what's going on here? Why is my computer behaving like that? However, I've got Discord on my phone now as well, so I can probably catch Discord messages during the day. I don't know what the audio is like. I'll have a look at that in a moment. But I am... Uh, I'm in this truck again. I've done a new a couple of new skins as well for uh, various vehicles knocking about. The Falkland skins out, the Falklands trailers out. Uh, what's actually available on my Steam Workshop? Ah, good. I've yet to fire up the engine, so I don't know what it's uh, what it's like. Uh, my files, files I've posted. Uh, multiplied by ice is out there. That's the one with the black eyes and the uh, the nose ring and the purple hue over the skin. And I've done the Guild of Thieves. I couldn't think of anything else to call the Guild of uh, Thieves. Um, let's, let's go to screen capture for a second. This one here. Put the Volvo FH 2012. Oh, did I have a hell of a job trying to get it all working up. First thing that happens is that the... Uh, where's the screenshots? That happened. Then that happened. Those mirrors should have been white, and it should have had like sort of like a parchment uh, texture all over it. So I ended up uh, removing the figure off the roof. Yeah, so the little pirate flag on the roof is now gone. But it's based off uh, Guild Wars. Character in Guild Wars. Probably could have done a little bit better fading it out there, but nah. But, you know, it's, it's a little bit different. I, don't know, I need to do a trailer for it now. Uh, 
Rob, uh, the idea for the trail, I might try and get, uh, go back to my mind and go, right, can you do some more screenshots with the pirate on the mount, <laughs> Lion's Arch? Sort of like, uh, what's it on one side, all like a view of Lion's Arch, and on the other side of the truck, like Lion's Arch trading or something like that. Mission still going on. Right, <laughs> is that any better? I've just noticed the intermission was uh, still playing. Right, uh, radio. I need to put my music player on just in case that kicks in. So where are we? We are. I need a fucking trailer. I need a trailer. I need a trailer. Uh, refrigerated. Oh dear. Do some fridge work, I think, today. Well, that's not what my overall plan is right now. Well, this is my ride, my lovely um, F816 750. You know what I should have done with that? Uh, Pirates uh, Team's Guild one. On the deck plate at the back, put wood, timber. I think I might have a go at that. Edit the skin and see if I can get some timber to uh, update. Right, okay. Right, let's deal with that. Logging in. Right, uh, so I'm not quite sure where I'm going to go yet. Right. Got my trailer attached. Right, I'm just going to change the butt lights. I'll give myself some. Chrome wheels.
trailers. Right, let's go for chrome rims. Job despite traveling. Huh? GLaDOS. I just see the word GLaDOS in here. <laughs> what the fuck's all that about? This is a completely stock game, I should not be getting those warnings. Let's have a look where we can go. It's a Karuna. I think it's that one there, Cantarica. That's where we're going to go. Crashed on me. That's not on. What the fuck's all that about? <laughs> okay, we'll try again, shall we? This is a completely stock game with a completely stock truck. I don't want to have to delete this profile and make it again. I'm having enough of that problem. Although chances are it could actually be TMP. That's uh, causing the issue. Right, okay. Yes, yeah, dump it back here with no fucking trail. Yeah, I mean, tra yeah, it's gone back to freaking Onyx Fang, ain't it? And. So, time to do this all over again. Right, manually save it this time. So I've not been down there for a while. So save that. 
create a manager. Let's put that into use, shall we? Don't know why that game crashed like that, but it did. And it's, right. Thought they'd fix that. We were supposed to have sorted that out. I wonder if it's actually the trailer, that's a problem. Well, at least now it's actually worth it. See if I can try a different place. Uh, rock cloud. Uh, let's go to let's set somewhere like Hawes, maybe. Uh, Hawes, where are you? Where's Hawes? Right, I'll see what the see what the logs say. No, it looks like the um right copy. So I'll put that in documents. I'm gonna send that off to uh TMP in again in a bit. This is the third time in a row it's just crashed like that. So right, try a different trailer. We're now half an hour in. We haven't fucking got anywhere yet. Right. Change the trailer. I'm going to put container, tra I'm going to put container skates on. See if that does it. If that is the case, I will get rid of that fridge fan. Now, if that isn't the case, this profile's got to get deleted.
I'm going to have to use my other profile. I'm going to have to rebuild this profile up again. Because there's something, you know, it's got to be something then on this profile. So let's find my relocate to that. Use yes. Okay, try again, shall we? Nice. Uh, the game log file, I've lost it. Right, okay, so let's go back in here. We just won't be able to use the uh, the job dispatch because it just keeps crash, crash, crash every fucking time. We didn't get very far last time, so... <sighs> it's a bit boring for you guys. We spent half an hour now trying to get the game to actually... Sit and run. Uh, stream, yeah, been streaming for 29 minutes. All I've done is just crash and reload it up three times. And that ain't good. So looks like we're gonna be taking random jobs, I'm afraid. <laughs> because the moment I try to click on own the trailer, it crashes. However, let's I'm going to see if it'll take me with an SCS game trailer. Tab. Job Dispatcher, Canterica, uh, Iberia, and Oil. Oil, where are you?
I don't know what the difference is between those things. Uh, let's have a look. Hydrogen? No thanks. Train axles, train undercarriage. Okay. Truck rims, car batteries, white phosphorus. Yeah, I definitely need me ADR for that. Reservoir tank, reindeer meat. That must be some of our pro mods, I think. Reindeer meat. Actually, you know what? Change of plan. I'm just going to take a random job, I think, with my random trailer. So, escape. Trailer manager. Refrigerated trading close. So, we just got to take this, I think. And close that. Job market. Cargo market goes um what it won't work. So Osnabrook, Turku, Finland, somewhat fairly uh, medium distance I think. We'll have a hold G B Port Magic. Could take that I suppose. Oh, you know where I've not been for a while? Albania. Not been down here for a bit, so I'll see. you know what? I think I will take this. Uh, Belgrade. Yeah, we'll take some beat to Belgrade. So. Tomorrow, before joining you again on LBC, and that's I not wanted what I to discuss uh, that's bloody writing because this right. On the road now. I'm still a bit wound up. Over there.
Okay, so we are going to be going to Belgrade. We've got Germany. We might take a swing through um, Austria down the, uh, the Wasit Road into Hungary. And down there. So it's going to be fairly straightforward. It'll probably take most of today's uh, run. So. Right, right. Away. Now that I'm ready to go, I mean, we are here um, in Alborg right now. That should have the registration Yar, but never mind. Uh, we've got the pirate paint job. Oh, those stacks need to change. Because it's clipping the refrigerator. So I'll probably do that in a minute. We've got the pirate flags, obviously pirate DLC uh, bodywork down there. Standardly uh, roof bar, not DLC one, pair of air horns. And we go from there, nice uh, coloured bar, coloured grill. She's a 6x2 rear lift axle. Four or five dropping as well uh, in the next few weeks. Uh, we get adaptive cruise control. I've been using it on single player, but we get it officially released. Now, what it does is it adapts the cruise control speed to whatever's in front of you. Emergency brake as well, it could be a, an absolute bonus for DMB. Someone cuts you up and slams the brakes on, it'll slam your brakes on as well, instantly. Whether it'll stop you on time is another matter. It probably won't. It'll certainly wake you up. Those pipes. 
possibly uh, lost the station anyway, so I'm going to put some uh, deal the pipes on with the not quite so thick uh, pipe rack. The only difference is it hasn't got the brake lights on. There's a trouble with this frame, this particular truck, is that the fifth wheel in the frame is a little bit too far too far forwards. Should be about there. That will then push the fuel tank further back, so we'll put those on instead. It's a much lower setup. So, right, uh, keep an eye on my Discord as well. Down to Austria, uh, Germany. Now, where's that squiggly road? Oh, that's actually here. Reminiscing of the past. Uh, the Japan Shinzo Abe, the longest railing uh, prime minister of that country, was unfortunately somebody shot him. Now, political assassination, that's usually an American thing. Ronald Reagan, JFK, Abraham Lincoln, I think it was, all the family fathers, he was shot. Feels a bit bouncy. 
back end is troublesome. It's the most upsetting. Now, we are, I don't know about you, JT, but we are getting buses coming through. Which, given the standard of driving on TMP, I would hate to be a passenger on one of these buses. If you've ever seen the videos of Indian bus drivers, as it's drive like complete nutters. Well, that's probably what it'll be like. Be the, you know, don't see you with a big pile up of truck, scouting, tourist bus, tourist bus, tourist bus, tourist bus, tourist bus, tourist bus. Epic in college. Now, I have been on the uh, Steam Workshop and last week I updated the Falcons trail, put uh, the truck on and the trailer on there. There's also the uh, yeah, the TMP. Ah, that's why I'm feeling so sad. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be pretty much what it'd be like. Probably when 145 uh, lands, I think that's when we'll get it. Well, I've done another scheme based on Guild Wars. This truck I'm actually driving now, it's with the MH 2012. Convoy mode. But the other thing is, with convoy mode, we've got traffic. I mean, this is the uh, 195. This is funny. I feel like it could be. Oh, yeah, it's 45. Yeah, 
you'd have cars overtaking all the time. And that's always the thing that TMP has lacked. It's good for many things, but it's lacking in other areas. And it would be nice if we had traffic fully uh, server synchronised. I don't know. Will the TMP last another couple of years? I don't know. Hope it does. right one. gets to the destination at uh, Yataratska to... Yeah, that place. Belgrade. Put some parking around me, I don't think I've ever been there before. German border. We do like nine as well. Get a little bit up to speed. I 
I'm not the sort of person to uh, moan at you for uh, doing the book speed on an autobahn. If you do that on single lane road, yeah. I will uh, have a go at you. Well, as it happens, we'll get down so far, put the next service there, we'll pull over. Gets it. I think the scans get them. I think Renault gets it. First off, and the new DAF. Then you got to be remodeled across the entire range. So hopefully, hopefully, they might cure the fact that the 2009 Scania's uh, fifth wheel sits inside the trailer. I like your lap. What can you help me do? Because it, they all scan you. A lot of people like it. It's alright, I mean, I think it could have been done a lot better. It's got a nice following, so. That's the old uh, 2009 series uh, scan you, but. There are some people out there on some discords who uh, think that 
for your truck to be good, it's got to be a modded truck. No, he hasn't. <laughs> it's got to do the job. by salt out. Hamburg in one four five. I hope they make that container port. Because that is a huge container port. Hamburg and Bremerhaven, those areas. Time now to have something to eat. Go go downstairs or get myself a cup of tea. So sit back, relax, enjoy the music. I'll put the uh, dev cab over the road for you so you can see traffic coming down. Well, right now, I need a coffee. Oh, 
not. <laughs> Up a bit doggo or a bit shit out. See you in a bit. Because that is definitely a McDonald's building. often you'll see cameras uh, on gantry signs like this. back in a minute. It's coffee time.
Okay, we've got... I can just turn that off for a second. I'm actually now back with... Uh, we were talking about, talking about Indian buses earlier on. I'm actually sitting down <laughs> now about to eat a curry. I've got a... Um, yeah, okay, it's... I think it's diced beef, curry powder, and a shitload of rice. Oh, a sweet corn. And when I saw it, all this like brown uh, curried up meat, there was a um, a song on YouTube called The Great Mighty Poo. I won't sing it for you, but... I think it's called uh, Con Conker's Bad Fur Day. And... <laughs> it's literally... <laughs> and you've got this turn, he's on about saying, I am the Great Mighty Poo, I'm off to throw my shit at you. Sweet corn is the only thing that passes through my rear. If ever you look at this video and you see all this sweet corn in that brown gloop, that's pretty much what this meal looks like right now. <laughs> so every time I see a uh, sweet corn in a curry, it's the first thing that comes to my head. I'm going to start the cab. Find the link. Um, e -R -E -A -T, my e -A -T, great mighty poo. <laughs> yeah, conquers bad fur day. Uh, dress. Oh, what the hell's that kind of link? No, 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 no. Let's actually go to the... Click on that link, it will take you to a YouTube video. There's also a hint of um, peppermint arrow by that video as well, the green in it.
a little bit more than when she made this curry. It seems to rock that. There's the meat. There's the rice. There's the sweet corn. There's a curry powder! <laughs> Boom! I feel like I'm just swallowed a lip distress flare. <laughs> Bad for the rice. However, in a minute we'll be all. You said the B word. This awful clogginess. It's all the force of blinking Ramonas like me. <laughs> no, Boris. It's your own fucking fault. In a minute, I'm going to be going back downstairs. And then we'll get back on the road. I've also as well, since uh, I streamed last weekend, got myself a new bedding. Because I got myself a new mattress. Because it was getting to the point where I'll lie down and dwang. Now that spring should not be going up there. I'll just kind of reposition myself. Twang. That spring does not belong in there. Twang, twang. It's not much fun when you wake up and you got scratches on you from springs that have been pocketed themselves and come through the fucking mattress. <laughs> As for Boris, oh how the mighty have fallen. He was saying on uh, PMQs he was going to stay in power and see it out because you know, I've got Brexit done. Marty got Brexit done, but he didn't think of the consequences now, did he? Well, that's another story altogether. Yeah, I 
Yeah. I think they could have done it a lot better. which is more dangerous, the threat from within or the threat from without. The threat from within is obviously uh, the kleptocracy at number 10. The threat from without, well, Moscow. <laughs> We are living in some seriously strange times. We got Mad Vlad threatening to nuke everybody. Which I don't think he will. Because I think if he were to do that, I think all bets would be off. Like I said last week, he's dying and he wants to leave a legacy. But. I don't think it'll get to the point where the army will take over. You might not have military coup in this country. Because at the end of the day, um, the military and the uh, MI5 and MI6, <laughs> their job is to protect this country from threats both from within and without. Threats from without, obviously, foreign state actors, China, North Korea, Russia, Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan, and the likes. Threats from within, um, IRA, right-wing extremists, left-wing extremists, dodgy politicians, and the likes. But at the end of the day, you've got I don't know if she can actually do this, but I wouldn't be surprised if she could, because after all, clue is in the name, Her Majesty's Government. I actually wonder if the Her Majesty the Queen can go, Oi, you guys, sort yourselves out. Otherwise I'll bang your bloody, otherwise, one more bang your bloody heads together. whether her role is just now purely ceremonial. If I was the, uh, the government, I wouldn't want to find out. Well, back in the old days of old, yeah, um, the king was... basically, he was almighty. He was almighty God. It was God, the king, the army, the mere mortals. Yeah, and I think um, we could be heading for those kind of times again. Be an interesting headline. You wake up again, you see the the uh, the sun, the daily mirror. Daily Star, the beat. News and yeah, the world is gone. Uh, Prime Minister replaced by military general. But if that would happen, I think we'd be the only NATO nation with a military government. A military junta. <laughs> but nah, he won't come to that because he's done the right thing and fucked off. It was getting to the point where, uh, yeah, 
was like, all right, I'm appointing you to ministry for minister for oh no, minister for roads. Twelve hours later, I quit. Okay, well, I'm appointing you for chance of the ex exchequer. Six hours later, fuck this, I'm off. <laughs> When your government start, when your uh, cabinet so starts to do that, it's sort of like the writing's on the wall, isn't it? I mean, he's had more resignations in 24 hours than of at any government of any time combined. I was listening to uh, RBC radio late into the evening. I was doing a morning late night drive. Boris? Resigning? I had to do a double take and check on the BBC, then check Sky News. Like, fuck! Okay. Well, then what we need to do now, we need, an, we need an election. I think this week is the last, uh, was it, for the uh, summer recess. I think at that, at that point we now need to have another, a complete general election before the end of the summer recess. Because the way that he has behaved, he's lost. He's lost the confidence of the electorate. government loses its confidence, both of its... Where am I in ETS2? I'm somewhere in Pro Mods. Uh, there. Between Magdeburg and Halle in Leipzig. And I'm heading down to... Oh, great. <laughs> nah, don't trust Wi Fi. Get yourself a bloody coaxial and uh, get yourself a bloody what's it need? Okay. If I can work out how to get there. Oh, he's here. Be told me now, because otherwise I would have been. It would have been Leipzig. <laughs> yeah, Wi-Fi is not the best. If you want, I can switch out to the arcade service, uh, be able to out. What's this guy doing?
Oh god! Oh god! Warbarers! Ah! No! I'm not safe. I'm definitely not safe here. Fuck it, that's an old fucking trailer, that is. That is an old Generation 1 tra uh, refrigerated trailer. God, brings back some memories pulling that one. Bloody hell, 1 euro 23 for a litre of diesel. Fucking hell, that's half the price of what we're actually paying right now. If this were real now, I would have just put in over a, over a grand's worth of diesel fuel. Sit and wait for you to turn up. And we'll, uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> oh yeah, you've not been on a single player profile, have you? Price of fuel now, I think. The truck I drive up for Samarco, it's got a four, uh, four point four meter high body on it, which means I can't fill up at your local BP or Shell that takes UK fuels. I have to do it at motorway service stations. And I was down Malvern at the weekend last weekend. And I filled up on. Uh, before I went down, I was like, yeah, two pounds, seven P a litre. It's ridiculous. And they're blaming uh, the war in Ukraine. They're blaming COVID. No. It's just out and out fucking greed. It's just pure greed. That's all it is. Yeah. And you know that the government uh, won't cap it. They say you're trying to sort a cost of living crisis out. Now, my way of dealing with it, where am I going? Um, where am I going? I am going... So there.
Belgrade, Serbia. And we've still got a, about another couple of hours to go yet. Yeah. Uh, got 10 hours worth of driving to do. The way to do it, I mean, would be to take diesel fuel and drop it down to 149.9 p a litre. Just cap it at that. Therefore, that's instantly going to put money in the pocket of the average worker. Because if, when I was working at Pirelli, I'd be travelling 36 miles to work, 36 miles from work every day. 72 mile round trip, five days a week. Now, so, let's just get that out. Uh, so, 72... Yeah, so seventy-two miles. Yeah, three hundred. I'm back in. Ah, this long story. <laughs> I'm back in now. Yeah, three hundred and sixty uh, miles a week. Now. Considering that the average car of a 96 era, automatic, probably does about 30 miles to the gallon. Hang on. So I was getting through 54 litres of fuel a week. Yeah, that's a hundred and over 110 quid of my wages were going Straight to the fuel tank. Oh, but I'll discuss it with you later, Alex, okay? Yeah, and when you earn, say if you earn 200, say, £60 pound a week, or you're a warehouse worker on minimum wage, and you earn, say, 200 quid a week, you're left with 80 quid a week, 80 to 90 pounds per week. That 80 quid has then got to buy you food, it's got to pay your electric, it's got to pay for uh, anything else you want to buy, like your Sky TV subscription, your Netflix subscription, your internet, your phone bill don't go very far does it and so to cap that at one pound 49.9 per week that will actually benefit the average worker and you're more than likely if you're moderately well off yeah because you've got a stable job. Your wife is working. Your, your husband is working. Your girlfriend is working. Your boyfriend is working. <laughs> your kids are working. They're giving you board. So you've got money coming in. 
you're more likely then to spend that little bit more. Go to that nice uh, weekend away in Blackpool, Grimsby, Skegness, Portsmouth, Wales, Scotland. Hey up, Marty. Yeah, you're more likely to do it. And that will actually benefit everybody else in the long run because people start to spend. Spending drives the economy and boom, you spend your way out of a recession. This high fuel prices is going to completely fuck everybody over. I hope my truck's in one piece. Has it been sat at the back of the yard or has somebody actually been driving it around? I presume somebody's been driving it. You still got that content detective shit at the moment, Alex, or not? Oh god! Oh my god! Oh no! No! Oh, it's probably going to be a bit saggy in our feet! <laughs> Probably gonna be all manner of, uh, like I say, bits hanging off it or something like that. God. Alex, where are you? You're in the game, but where, where on earth are you? Because I'm in Haller. Where are you? Because when I parked it up, there was not a fucking mark on that truck, apart from the bit where I dented the roof <laughs> with its a low flying branch. There's nothing hanging off it.
Come on, Alex, where are you? Who are you there? Uh, yeah, I can hear you again. Where the fuck are you? <laughs> uh, yeah, you're on me, Tab. Right. You can hear me, I can hear you, or do I need to turn my mic up? Nah, you're good. You're good. Alright, all good then. Wanna go down a channel or you wanna stick on 19? Uh, also, I need fuel before we leave. Yeah, I'm by a petrol station anyway, so. Yeah, that's just so you don't move out. I can hide if you want. Don't want. Huh. What do you think, my truck? Oh, Jesus, I need to get used to this lag. What do you think, my 105, huh? It's grey. <laughs> it's what? It's grey. Yeah. It's, it's just a standard one of with pipes. Nothing special, nothing interesting. Just the truck. And I like this truck. It's quite old. Like Actually, it's gunmetal grey. Yeah, I guess. Ain't bad though, you ain't gonna lie, it ain't bad. Yeah, down, uh, down one. Do you hear me? Temple, keep it on this channel for a bit, let's roll. <laughs> My um, I might lag, so I just want to stay behind you. Um, yeah, it's probably a good idea if you're on Wi Fi. I've actually got what from. Reason I'm white? Yeah, from no, my router what, what to my uh, computer, I've actually got a 25 meter cable. Well, the reason why I'm on the, this is because my router it, it showed red and then just like gave up. And then I was like oh, trying to get it back so to work. I'm going the wrong way. And, <laughs> yeah, I know, but the same. But it, it just stopped. It, it's just, it like showed red lights or something, and I was trying to get it to work again, but then it completely fucked itself up. So it was not working whatsoever. And I guess I see what you're doing now. I thought you're going to continue straight. I was having loads of issues with uh, my Wi-Fi signal. But the thing is, though, your antenna radiates uh, out to the side. Unfortunately, where it is in my house is directly beneath my computer. Downstairs. Yeah. So no, it's not getting a good signal. It was working fine, but it's now I just gave up. I think I need a new one. But the problem is, in like, what, nine days now, I'm flying to Canada, so the bugger just would continue to be perfect. Yeah. When you go to Canada, you take plenty of uh, pics. Pictures, 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 pictures. Peterbilt uh, 359. Oh, shit. What, sorry? Uh, Peterbilt 579. Loads of pictures. Calm down. Well, I I'll, can't I'll exactly go to Hack's so truck pictures now because he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh, what's it called now? Uh, oh, I'm close to the same. How fast are we going to go? Flying. 
explore it. I hope you're going to be doing about 90, I can't do 120. Can I go down a hill with about 50 times in the back? Yeah, Actually, that'll get you to about 110. I was actually thinking about doing some long trip uh, tonight and then tomorrow also, but with this internet shit, I, I can't do it, on, do it on TFP. I was gonna, tonight I was gonna go down to like, down to that area and then back up again to Dortmund. And then tomorrow go up to Kirkenes and then back down to Egypt just for the heck of it because I want to drive a lot. It's yeah, if you are lucky, do it on the arcade server. So. Yeah, but it's hard to hit, it's like nobody on it. Yeah, so that's the only trouble. It's working fine. It's working fine, I'll probably just get it. I think it's just I think it's like a couple years old and don't ride his age and like stall up the rear. I mean, you're pulling 38 and stable, so you should be okay. Stable, what do you mean? You're not bouncing around. Yeah, it is. It's, my ping is a bit all over the place. If they said it was like 20 30 down and like 20 30 up when I did a speed test, so it's alright. It probably just is quite yeah, well. Yeah, it's, it's come down to 24 now. Down that squiggly road. Yeah, but yeah, nothing new. No, but also in real life, we're, we're going to be up at like 2 a.m. and then we got to get to the airport at a certain time and everything. We're flying to 20 When are you night. going? And we'll be s uh, the 17th. Oh, right, okay. So uh, next week. So tomorrow will be seven days, or precisely a week. So. Just, just fly to Amsterdam and yeah, I'll, I'll put you in my suitcase and you can go with me. <laughs> I was reading a, a, an article about someone who's a student in Australia and he, uh, his visa ran out and he ran out of money. So he had to get home so he FedExed himself. around 60 meters you'll be okay. Like right now. Yeah, more or less. <laughs> I have maxed that team of peace uh, report system. I can only do one more report and then I've uh, maxed myself out because all the idiots have run into the CV. Yes, yes I know. Don't start complaining. People just have a magnetic connection with my truck and rounding into me, apparently. Now, what it is, you're driving like nutters. Yeah, but there's like, there's, there's like a truck that drove into me, then he just, uh, after like a minute, he like, just despawned, and there was a car that did the same, but that's the ad. I've just been hanging out around the CD. Ish. I've been like making trips that go over the CD and stuff. Like going from Dortmund to Spain, like via the CD over to like Dover over the train and then down to Plymouth and then sail to Santander or Bilbao or whatever the hell it's called. Not a bad run actually. Not very bad, not too shabby. Expect these ultra graphics that I do well. You're not on uh, the uh, crappy little laptop now, are you? I started on a laptop and I moved over there as a, a, a 
bigger computer and they said I had them a few years but they had a crappy graphics card, that's all. I mean, I could run around medium graphics set, but I just ran a small low issue on time. Now if I obtain the VC club, this thing will run uh, at 100 FPS at Ultra. Oh nice. Have we seen that skin I put up on the Steam Workshop, by the way? Went yeah, I saw. I've, 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 looked at, I've been looking a bit at the proper server now. Then. Oh, I had a right hell of a job before it trying to get one. It was really giving oh. me some fucking asshole. Very well in the fuel economy because this is only like a what? Yeah, three ton load. It's like light as hell, so I'll be I'll be flying. In fact, it's probably uh, is that a, a renter trailer? That one. That's uh, just a company. Yes, yeah, so it's a renting trailer. Uh, <laughs> that trailer probably weighs about ten tons. The bucket on the yeah, other hand. Uh, three tons that is really, really uh, out there. It was barely. Yeah, it's probably like. It's probably like two. No. Uh, it's, it's, it's steel, so it, it's raw bucket, so it's tough. It's gonna be a few, about. A, say about two and a half tons, maybe nope. that's why they put it to three. Nope, nowhere near. Probably looking like, around about a t there at about a quarter ton. You'd be able to rock it if it were real. Yeah, but you know what could be fun if you could have these on like a flatbed and then low loads. This, this was flatbed at the time. These trailers they are quite heavy. Well, I've actually, I've actually uh, at our place. We've had, we picked up two of those in a bucket in a seven and a half tonner. Nice. And they've only got a, I think it's about a two and a quarter ton payload. And she wasn't even anywhere near being overloaded. Yeah. Well, my dad's, my dad's truck, my dad's truck in his trailer he has to run weighs about 16 tons empty. So. Yeah, the one time we had, we, I think it was like 10 tons or something of stone, so we hauled from Denmark all the way down to Dortmund. That was a fun though, light and everything. Yeah, how is he done doing it anyway? Oh, we can practically walk around like nothing ever happened now. He just, he only uses one crutch and everything. He's quite mobile. Everything's doing very well now. Nothing really, everything's basically almost back to normal. Next week on Tuesday he's going for a checkup. It's been six weeks then. So he's I think another baby few weeks to be back. I just, I just could see that it said it was like it was quite high for all the reports coming in. Where did you see that? It says up the one corner if you send reports to, like it says the system is quite high or loaded high or something like that. I don't remember. Oh, when you put one in? Yeah. That's yeah, normal. That is. Of the 16 reports yeah. that I filled out when I was a player, most of them took 7 to 10 days. I had some that were quite quick, but I have had some lingering now. 
But they will get actioned. Sooner or later, they will get done. Yeah, I st I'm going to fill in one tonight or tomorrow morning, I think, from today. Because uh, I had a scout group to me. But, yeah. I think I'm, I'm going to... That's why I was also thinking about doing long trips into you and then probably wants to burn me out of the game. So I'll keep my butt in like farm or something so I don't make right into any more idiots. But is there like a certain length like how how long can that footage be valid for if I want to stop it before? Yeah. Is there a certain amount of time or can they see? You need once you if somebody hits you on the, for example, the first of the month, you've got till the end of the 14th day to which to submit it. So if you say, put the report in on, say, the 13th, and the event happened on the 1st, on the rule 1.4, yeah. the report is valid, because you put it in within 14 days. If it then takes well, another like 7, 8, 10, 12 days for the report to be dealt with in the system, it's still valid because you've put it in in accordance with Rule 1.4. Report in and it conforms to 1.4, you're good. Ah, yeah. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, I'm breaking, I'm breaking into this dime block in uh, the city you're going to. Second, Alex, in fact, turn your microphone up a bit. Like I, my brother's sleeping, I'm speaking as loud as I can. No, turn your gain up on your microphone. I did. Because you are... You're about the same volume as my uh, truck's engine. How high are you put player's volume on in the game to be? I might have to put that slide down on this profile, but I can't do it right now. Okay, yeah, yeah I'm letting you pull over. Yeah, now I'll mess around some settings then on my action. Audio. Turn that down a bit and right, try that. I'll try that for a bit, just knock the uh, truck audio down. Oh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. Because if I knock the options, audio. There we go.
any better now or what? Yeah, it's better. You best put your foot down. Wait. Yeah, no, I was just trying to help you figure something out, but I gotta figure. Yeah. All right. What fuel mileage is your truck doing? Mine is doing 2.6, which is kind of shit, I guess. removed it from that and put it to more realistic like standards well apparently this truck's got an 800 litre tank really? <laughs> I think it says right now it says I have 466 litres so I think it's like a 500 litre tank I don't really know this 105 whatever it has yeah the 105 is about right actually that has got an 800 litre tank. Yeah, my dad's in real life is a 500. That's what I expect this one to be. But I think you have 800 litres because you have double tanks. My dad does, he has a hydraulic tank on the right. On the uh, left-hand side on this truck is the uh, the diesel tank. On the right-hand side, you've got the oh yeah, it only is it, yeah. You've got the silencer unit and you've got the def tank for the piggy pee. Exactly, that's right. I wish they give you more options with like how your tank looks and stuff. Also, it's cool they're bringing just to the game. We need to turn here, mate, don't we? Yeah, wakey, we wakey, spacey, spacey. For once, I'm more tired. I'm quite tired, but I'm still paying more attention than needs to the road. Yeah, we got used um, fifth wheels coming in. I think there's only going to be a couple of brands that I have them to start off with. Then they'd be filtered through the rest of the range. Say, say that again, you cut out multiple times. Yeah, I don't think uh, it's every truck that's getting them to start off with. I think it's only about Yeah, four. so you're doing it two phases. Yeah, four that I get in it. Then obviously everything else coming in. I'm really, really, really wanting um, them to <coughs> fucking start adding some of the new trucks been released in real life. If I'm gone for those three weeks, they better fucking add some new truck. If it's not, I want to complain to SDS when I get back. Well, why is that coming out? We've got the Ford coming out, that's a completely new licensing agreement. You've got the wait, TGX wait, wait, 2022. No, no, sorry, start your sentence again. You said what first? You've got the new Ford uh, F-Max. Yeah. Uh, that's a completely new license agreement, so uh, unlikely. You've got the TGX 2022. You've got the. Uh, the Volvo you digital got. Mirrors. Yeah, you got, got the MP5. Exactly, and then the Volvo. Yeah, the new 2022 uh, FH, which I think looks better with um, the not so exclusive lights. Yeah, I'll t I don't mind the L lights. Um, I was in one not long ago. Um, what was he said about the Ford though? Do you think SES will add the Ford or never? Unlikely. 
I would like to see the fork with like a 6x2 chassis so attack lift, that would be interesting. But, they are like... No, it probably never will happen either. So. I've only ever seen the, the few that come into our yard. We got it. Uh, four by two. Yeah, I think I think they are only four by two. This is some Turkish shit. There's, yeah, it's only really Turks and stuff that have them. Imagine if they got added to the game and then you drive the CD. See all the Turks driving the fucking Ford. Then, oh, my truck just hit three thousand three hundred thirty-three kilometer. I think with those, uh, you'll probably find that a lot of Poles will use them, because I've seen quite a few on Polish plates, Bulgarian plates, uh, mainly yeah, some European. That's what I mean. Yeah. Have you seen what the Dutch are doing now with all the cutting down 7% of the CO2 and all that crap? They are not too happy with the government as of right now. Protesting to the great godness of heaven. Every, like, sh fucking fishermen are blocking up major ports. They're actors lining up and down highways, blocking supermarkets. Every supermarkets are fucking empty. Everything going chaos. Because uh, the government wants to cut down 70% of emissions or some, something. Like, they're literally cutting far. They're literally destroying farms. They want to set unrealistic standards by 2030, and it's farmers are protesting against it blocking this, blocking that, it's bloody nuts. It's all over, you know, it's all over, the, I think, YouTube news and everything, it's, yeah, quite big. We're doing 70 or what here? Yeah, just coasting through the town, and when it comes, uh, we'll wind it up to about 80 down here. I, I wish it was, like, real life here where I could, like, set something up where it would follow the speed of your truck so I wouldn't have to adjust it all the time, it would just follow you like it That's does coming! Certain distance. That's coming! I know. Just needs TMP to implement it. Yeah, now they're implementing buses, now they better implement that. Yeah, that was not good, I was about to find truck in first gear doing 80. I would have fucked something up. Roll it through the village. What are we just going to do? Seventy or eighty now? Nah, I'm too much. I'll just do it manually. What do you think will be better, my axle up or my axle down? What's better for fuel mileage? Uh, with that thing, stick the axle up, but watch it, it'll make the truck uh, a little bit, a little bit squirrely. I'll just keep it down, doesn't matter to me really. I have uh, 8 million. 9 million, I have quite yeah, a successful company. Put the axle up, on. it makes the truck uh, with tag axles. Very unstable. I like how this is though, with this small, small cab and the pipes, it's very nice. Well, so I found with the, uh, I think it was Eugene's Volvo, put the um, tag axle up, and I've got no weight on the front end. Yeah, you can do, you can do like, uh, bloody, uh, what do they call it now? It's quite fun what you can do then. Yeah, but with an empty trailer, it shouldn't kick you up like that. No. This is bloody beautiful. Oh, you I've been down here. on the road. I am. Um, I've been down here once with a new computer. Or twice. But, yeah. What's the average lifespan of a like an extend like an extender router that like extends the Wi-Fi limits and converts into like Ethernet for my computer? 
What's the average lifespan of them? I have no Couple idea. Years? We've got uh, our our router's uh, about six years old now. It's still working. Not bad. You ever been to Pizza Hut in real life? Yeah. Don't make much of. Yeah, that's nothing special. Dominoes are all right. Uh... Yeah. yeah, I, me, and my dad once climbed the fence to get some dominoes. Oh shit, you lag. Oh, shit, lag. He just completely froze for me there, and I got 77 damage on the truck and two in the car going three in the trailer. I was wondering why it suddenly stopped. What's sorry? I was wondering why you suddenly stopped. Well, it wasn't you, it was my internet. Mate, it's better than nothing. Yeah, it works, it works. But let's see if we can find out a love bridge when we get to Ontario because apparently everybody's so understaffed that it's just getting piled and everything. So I think we're not going to pack really any extra like suitcases because they might get lost or some shit. Who knows. My mum's just had something about it. It's quite, yeah, busy and shit. And here we are. This is the... Uh Beginning of the legalness. Yeah, people on TMP, let me show you what they do. It's fucking nuts. They do this all the time. Yeah, they go, and they do the sun go like this. And it's, I don't get it. They're almost hitting people. It's nuts. It's stupid. Yeah, you really don't want to be doing that. Do you know why you do it? No. Do you know why you do it? To save the hundred something bucks. The only reason why they do it. You can also just get a friend that just lists behind them and then only you have to pay the ticket. I'm just showing you. I know you're moderate, so I'm gonna be quite careful. I'm just demonstrating. Yeah, you shouldn't really do things like that. I know why they do it. You need to tell me. Nah, nah. I'll, I'll, t I'll just make sure to bring a friend, a friend along on this road each time. And I'll, I'll just be, I'll just follow behind you and I'll almost be like an inch away from the trailer so I can listen to it without paying. <laughs> yeah, you know, Is there a person on TMP with a TMP ID 1? What, you mean the very first Space. person on here? Yeah, is there a guy with that ID that you can see in TMP sometimes, or is that very unlike? Uh, what, TMP ID slot, like the 409 and whatever my number is? Yeah, yeah, you're, uh, yeah, is, is there... There is usually a one person on. on there, because... That person no, like... was like, when the server opens, you drop in, that's... You got number one slot. I've had it a couple of times. No, but what I mean is like um, your TMP ID. The first guy to ever sign up to TMP. Can you see him? Is, it, is it like I wonder where that guy. Uh, if you ever see him on like the road somewhere, you see TMP, TMP ID that says like twelve or one. That would be so interesting. Which is like weird. Holy shit, we're gonna run into a, we're gonna run into a convoy here, mate. There's like an entire convoy here. Yeah, they're probably up by the parking area. Are they? <laughs> you getting off this after us? Getting off after this trip? Yeah, it's only the one trip tonight. 
Well, what? Well, how long was the trip? A thousand, two thousand kilometers? Makes sense. Yeah, it's called this level 900 to him. If you think of it, all the people going back and forth in the CD, they make, they cover some ground because it's about 500 kilometers each way in the CD. So, 10 times a day on that road, that's 10k. 20 times a day, that's 20k. Adds up quickly. The thing is, I don't see the point of doing that. Neither do I. What I do is I take like jobs from like, like Dortmund to uh, Rotterdam via the CD, and then or Lille or. Dover or something. I just go over the road because it's easier. It's just people on there. It's fun. It's not fun when you get hit, but it's fun to see other people crash. <coughs> Yeah. All this new bus stuff for TMP is going to be interesting. You're going to be driving the CD road and everybody's just going to be piling up for it. Right, have a look like for a video of Indian bus drivers. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've seen it. Are we going to like pull over and let them pass or what are we going to do? Yeah, we'll slow down and let them come down through you. The entire company is out. Stay back here, or should I just follow around? Oh, you're making a good view of the moderator. Just smash into everything like a swift. What are you doing, space? Pro moderator driving here. Just rearranging some stones. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's some video to your live stream. You gotta save that clip later. <laughs> yeah, I would have recorded that. It's all right. It's going out live on my stream anyway, so. Yeah, public embarrassment. Oh, this guy hauling sacks in load as me, an exact same trailer. That was funny. <laughs> Yeah, I just took it a little bit narrow. Ah. I thought this truck had driven more, but apparently it hasn't. It only driven three. It only driven like two k when I took it. This is like my oldest profile I have, and I still get surprised how low my mileage are on some of these trucks. I got a half the uh, not not the XG, but the one be after before the XG. I got one of them with like 30,000 kilometers on it. I got an MAM with like 40k on it, I think. I used to love driving around the Pro Motors. I drove a fuck ton. It's dumb. You and you're cutting your top corners today, my god. You're not a good driver. Someone must take a bit and send a complaint in that uh, TMP. You know, your moderator drives like a can of dog shit. No, no. <laughs> and he gets a place if he's uh, not behaving and then send in a report. <laughs> uh, nah. For once, I'm actually driving better than you. Mr. Real Life Truck Driver. If 
if you drive like this in the game, we want to see you drive in real life. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, my uh, MS is, my milliseconds have gone up, I just watched out because it, it can kick me. Dead pig. Drop once one four five is uh, dropped. Ah, bye bye. You got pings, boy. Next he was there, next he was gone. Oh, my internet's doing great. Bing! No, it's not. <laughs> right, I don't know if you're still here, but my fucking uh, game said, like, enough now, you got too high pink. Yeah, I saw that. Alex has been kicked, so I have a reason too high pink. Bye bye! Bing! Proper wire, best internet going, mate. Mate, I'm, I would have been on wire if it was for my router had beside me, wouldn't have uh, started to act up like a fucking cut, but it did anyways. <laughs> like, I don't care if it did it the night before the weekend, I'd be like, fuck you, see you in three weeks, I'm going on vacation, but. <laughs> like, what? Right, like, I wait for a rainy day, was like, the wrong time. <laughs> yeah, we got uh, we got a northbounder. Yeah, I know. Got to make sure to um, not hit him. What do you do? With a purple like that, it's like milk a cow, milk and bloody chocolate. Yeah, it's awful. <laughs> I don't like that colored. That yellow at the end. Oh, <laughs> shit. Hey, it could have been worse. It could have been acid green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I was also thinking about getting some BTC again, but. I was just going for the hell of a try prime, but they said no, so I'll stay at one until I come off from Canada. Might pop in yours, but the problem is I like to do one ten on TMP in there. Don't mind me, don't mind me, don't mind me, don't mind me. See at the finish line. <laughs> I'm 
might have done that in real life before too. I'm not gonna can either confirm it or not. I like to do that again. I will have to do something. Mate, I wouldn't do it if it wasn't safe. If he's not meant players, to do it anyway. Yeah, I know. I just it's fun sometimes to mess around. Come on. Don't say you would do that too sometimes. Oh no, he's tight. <laughs> what, what are you trying to type an essay? Would I do that? That is a beautiful road. Shame it's uh, such an awful place on single player, on uh, sim servers. Yeah, but why? Why would you? Why are you not surprised? It's TMP. They love shit like that. It's like an addiction. So it's like interesting road. It looks beautiful. This winding. Fuck yeah. I mean, S they SCS probably just made their fucking year by doing that. I mean, it's died down again, but it's like perfect for TMP. Yeah, yes, yes, make something great. TMP players come along and spoil it. Sounds about right. Yeah, that's TMP in a nutshell. Most of this bus stuff they're making, it's gonna be interesting. I'll try it, I guess, maybe. But that D bus, what the hell is that for a client? Yeah, I'm not sure where the buses actually come from. I think, it, uh, I think it's well, obviously the buses or something. I, I don't know either. It's something TMP, the bus TMP made, obviously. And the, the D bus, the D bus has been knocking around before. I have heard something about it too, where you can use it, but I never really did. It's just like, yeah, passengers and stuff. Also, oh, next, I'm at half a tank, so I need to refuel the next fuel station. How long do you reckon we have left in this drive? We've got around about 750 kilometers to go. Yeah, but I know that. It's like more like real life time. 15, 20 about minutes? Another hour, I reckon. An hour? Half an hour. It's just a slow little ramp, but that's why. Well, we've got uh, a couple of border posts to go through as well. They're quite quick. Yeah, so we've got... Uh, we got one border post to get into Croatia, then it's one length to get into Serbia. It's tall and stuff. I'll be fine. Rome's gonna be in Italy anyway. I just like a rather misshapen meat cleaver. <laughs> what? That what is? monumenty thing that goes across the road. Yeah. What does it look like? It looked like a misshapen meat cleaver. Aha. Uh -huh. Nice old wobble. Is 
that looks a bit right. Well, 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 Yeah, the current silo trailer, the wheels are too close, to, uh, too narrow. I hope you cured that. There you go, I'm wrong channel. What the hell? Um, no, those those new drive ball trailers that have been released, right? I guess TMP players dream because they um the unfinished versions they get beat up with like a small little platinum trailer behind. So it's like perfect for TMP players, they're gonna love it. Yeah, it's got like a Nordic Quite a nice trailer. No no no, it's a finish. No no, because the it's a B dot no it's a B it's a triple trailer. Uh, it's a B double with an extra trailer behind it, so it's finish. Oh, the them. triples. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Most players can't even handle them. No, but, but they drive with them anyways. Uh, I would say about 99% of the players who pull that thing can't, uh, can't back them up. Yeah. I don't mind driving them sometimes, but they can also get another to the hole. Like the double trailers. I never tried the triples because the save edited, but yeah. Yeah, when you've got those kind of trailers, you need to take up extra care. Wait, do we have to. Oh, this is sophisticated. Ah, it's just a tall bit. Do can... you think I can crawl behind you and not pay? Do you want to do a tack race? Or a drag race, sorry. Bloody daft versus... Oh, come on. Go! Yeah, I'm gonna lie to load. <laughs> come on, always hit me. Hurry up. It's better when we've got identical loads. Identical truck and trailer or what? Yeah. Identical, identical truck, uh, trailer, identical gearbox, just with a different engine. Then it makes a difference. I want to say the one of five. I like the I like, like the um, bloody what's it called now dash how the dials are. On oh, what yours or mine? Yeah, this I like I like the interior of the one of five so much. I don't yeah, like, it I is like nice. the wood panels and stuff. Shame the non-exclusive version thing. hasn't got a bloody radio. It's a decent, it's a nice truck, it's just old. Not wrong with that. Bob Greta Thorberg don't like. I just, I would, I would like to see. Oh, I you're driving a Euro 5? How dare you! Oh, shut up. It's a Euro 5 you're driving too. It's a 750 Euro 5. Yeah, I was only because SES yes, haven't upgraded the model yet. This model, this shape actually went up to Euro 6. Fine. What's it called now? Um, imagine a 750 uh, Volvo's truck, Volvo engine in this. Could be nice. How's about a uh, Caterpillar C16 with a thousand horses? Yeah, I know, that's nice too. Um, well,
but the way the engines pull the 750 in like um like a 730 in like 21 tons then it gets quite quiet up a hill or somewhat don't feel when you have the highest horsepower engine you can get they don't really pull as much as they would in real life doesn't really do it justice what do you think yeah now i've got uh 934 kilometers of range in my tank Jesus estimated. Christ. I've got 568 kilometers of uh, distance to go. I wonder if I can get all the way on the fuel I've got. That's a challenge. Getting all the way there on the fuel.
I don't know where he's gone, so I will crack on with the run. Looks like his internet gave out, so he doesn't want to give it back. Because I'm there, I've literally got to go to there, Belgrade. So I can close that down and go into there. Quick check of the disk. Oh, right. Okay, no worries. I was wondering where you'd gone to. It was like, bing. Because there's no blue message that came up to say that he had uh, got pinged. Uh, nothing. <laughs> right, I will now do the last, uh, about eight thousand. Five hundred kilometers to do on this run. I'm not if you've done that. I've been to Bosnia for a while actually. It's actually uh, Serbia. Night. That's how it was. Soon be on the uh, on the home straight with this run. map is soon to be updated anyway, so we're getting the Balkans for in place of Russia. Although eventually Russia will come. What the hell are they doing over in Ukraine right now? Is anybody's guess? I think it will end up with NATO troops on the ground. Let's hope not. Because if that happens, it's all, uh, all bets are off.
outpost. Welcome to Croatia. Papers, please. going off with uh, you know, your papers in order, you know, doing the Dover to Calais crossing. We have found immigrants in your trailer. You're being fined £1,000.
not long now, then I'll be able to put this down for the night. And we'll pick it up next week. It's been a while since I want to try and get down towards Albania. been down this neck of the woods. Grabs a nearest town, then we've got uh, Slavonsky Broad to go through, and then Belgrade. Two towns, that's it. 300 kilometers, four and a half hours. Sullivan Shippy. This one then Belgrade, yeah, so we're almost there, we're almost in the bag. Right, it's uh 200k. Think you an idea, 200 kilometers uh 213 kilometers. That's roughly here to Carlisle. Where I am where I live to Carlisle. 
from say Birmingham to uh, London, something like that. Yeah, it's a black bull, something like that. It's been three hours stream. Three hours of driving anyway in the stream. Once it got rolling. Just join, welcome, although you're a bit late, 
is it during the party? Because uh, it's probably... About 15, 20 minutes of stream left.
of it, here we are. 30 kilometers away from the end of the road. on those bloody lights though. Time to get all sorts of relaxed and chilled out. It has been a good drive. You know, major incidents, rammings and collisions and crap like that. but I'll put it's green. You can have that. Wow, 2,468 kilometers. Right, that's it. All done. Time to go off and knock it in the air and go do something else for a bit. So, all be well.